Now, in my first example, we have potatoes that cost 60 cents per pound. Let me write it here again. 0, 60, 2, 1 pound. This is my rate or ratio. It is both. It is both ratio and a rate. It is a ratio because it is a, a number to another number. We're comparing two numbers. It is a rate because these numbers have a different unit, dollars and pounds. And it also happens to be a unit rate because this number here is 1. The weight could be 1 pound here. I can put here that the weight is always in pounds, so we just have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. And the cost in dollars for one pound it is 60 cents. These two numbers form a ratio. And these two numbers form a ratio. And these two form a ratio. Each pair of numbers forms a ratio and each one of those ratios are equivalent. Okay, that's when two variables are in a proportional relationship. So, two pounds to one dollar twenty, or one dollar twenty to two pounds is equivalent to sixty cents per one pound. And this ratio or rate here is equivalent to this. Okay. Okay, another thing we can do now, we can write an equation. And the equation is always weight equals some number times cost, or cost equals some number times weight. And the number here, that goes here, is the unit rate. It's this 60. Okay, that goes there. But which one? Now you can check out, just look at the unit rate. The one where you have the number 1. And it was 1 pound. So put 1 pound where you have the weight. Put 1 here, and check that your cost will be, okay, 1 times 0 0.60. Yes, it is 0 0.60. If you put 1 here and 0 0.60 here, then it won't work. The equation will not be true. So the cost is 0 0.60 times the weight. And now we can also plot this in the coordinate plane. You can use these, because each one of these is, of course, one point in the coordinate plane. In your coordinate plane, you will not have x and y axis. Instead, you will have weight and cost axis. Okay? And usually people put the cost here. Cost is the vertical, and then of course your weight would be here. The weight of the potatoes, I should say. And so maybe this will go by ones. Over here you would have to decide the scale. Let's say we put one dollar here. Like that. Two dollars here. Three, four, five and so on. And then to plot it, just take two points. Hmm, maybe I will try this one because it is an integer. Three, exactly three dollars. Three dollars is here, five here. Another part you can use is the origin, zero, zero. And then plot your line. And we are done with this, except I wanted to point out to you that this is the slope. 0 0.6 is the slope. And if you take 1 here, 1 on this axis, and go up here, this point here will have the coordinates of 1 and the slope, which is also the unit rate. 